and welcome back to my channel called cognition learning center for all so friend today i'm going to teach you how to make a different configuration of parts and assembly using design table and also how to call design table in drawing so let's start good new part okay select front plane sketch okay select circle draw a circle concentric circle like this Okay, go to smart dimensioning, select this circle, give a dimension of 300 mm, select this, give a dimension of 50 mm, okay, fine. Now go to feature, extrude bus, okay, select mid plane, give 20 mm thickness to this plate, okay, fine. Now save this part to a particular folder. Here we have saved flange. Okay. Fine. Go to annotation. So feature dimension. Okay. Fine. This is important part. And now go to view hide and show select dimension name here we are going to edit the dimension name according to the requirement here a this one as b and this one as c okay so we can name accordingly now go to insert design table design table okay select blank block model edit okay now design table will appear in the part okay now go to here you can see design table edit the design table okay now a design table will appear first instant we can edit as x y and z okay now this select double click here okay double click this one okay double click this one okay now we have a dimension we can add more dimension to this abc okay fine okay now we have three dimension for each of them x y z okay now we can see this XYZ configuration will appear. Double click here. Okay. Here also. Now you can see the changing dimension of the flange as we have given into the design table. According to that, it will appear. Okay. Now you can see annotation. So feature hide. Okay. Now new part. We are going to make another part, select this front plane, sketch, okay, center line, again line, okay, straight horizontal line, like this, we are going to make a soft, like, okay, like this. Go to smart dimensioning, give a dimension to this as a diameter 50 mm. This one as a diameter 75 mm. Okay. Now smart dimensioning, select these two, give a dimension of 100 mm. This part also, a dimension of 100 mm. Fine. Now, okay, okay, fine. Select this at this point, make it coincidence. Okay, fine. This is good. 
Let's look good. Okay. Now go to feature, revolve command. Now we have a soft like part. Go to chamfer. Select these edges. 5 mm chamfer. Okay, fine. Now save this part as soft. Save. Okay. Fine. Now go to annotation. So feature dimension for this soft. So it will appear all the dimension. Hide this. We don't need this. Okay. So drag this diameter of the soft. Okay. Now go to view. Hide and show. Again dimension name. Select this. Okay. Now we can again edit this. All. Okay. Name this as a double click this and give this as dimension b okay same this one also edit this as c okay select this edit this as d okay fine now we have a b c d okay add this also Let's look at now go to insert go to table design table okay again blank and block model okay select this ones okay fine now design table will appear fine we have a design table go to here table design table will appear edit this design table accordingly so now we can edit here first instance we can name it as x y and z same we double click this okay again double click the dimension which we want to appear in the design table double click again this one double click double click fine now we can give dimension to other parts like y z like configuration if you have input, we can put these dimensions accordingly, according with the input. Okay. So here we are giving the random dimensions to the part. Okay. Fine. Okay. Click outside. Okay. Now X, Y, Z will appear. You can see there is the configuration. Now double click it. We can see the changes. In the dimension which we have given in the design table fine we built it great so now we can hide this ABCD so go to annotation so hide it okay now it look good now go to file new we can go for assembly of these two parts so select this flange okay click here it will go directly to the symmetry plane insert component select soft fine okay assemble this now we are going to make the configuration of the assembly okay if constraint concentric okay so assemble this flange and the soft okay now it's look good. Now we have an assembly. So save this assembly as XYZ. Okay, in a particular folder. Fine. So now it's look good. Okay, now go to insert, go to table, design table. Okay. Now you can see there are lots of option. Okay, that's good. So there is a default. We can name XX, YY, ZZ. This is the name of the configuration we want. So here we can have dollar sign and configuration.
okay at the rate flange part name and one okay now we have a formula for this configuration copy this paste this to the next okay now we can edit as we have a flange and shaft so here it will be a shaft because we are making a configuration for the assembly so we have two part flange and shaft okay now we can name we can connect the configuration which we wanted to connect with the assembly like here we wanted to connect a flange configuration x with shaft configuration x and here y into y z to z so this is according to the input and according to the requirement of the condition which we want so now it appear like xx yy and zz so double click it we can see the changes appearing in the assembly so now it's it's look good so we have a configuration of an assembly according to different uh, length and dimension given or as per as requirement using design table fine save this okay now go to file sorry so we have a part this flange Go to design table, okay, X, Y, Z is fine. Go to file, new. So, drawing of this part, how to draw it, okay. Flange, select the flange, okay. So, we are going to make a drawing using design table. So, how we are going to call the design table on the drawing, save this particular drawing okay now go to view so and hide sorry go to insert table design table fine so design table will appear for this particular part drag this on the seat so we have the all the dimension according to the configuration which we have given in the design table so as you can see here we have three configuration x y z and the, all the dimensions okay save this fine now go to part design table edit the table we can edit it as per as the required one so now you can see here we can also edit the name and all what we want to appear in the drawing and all according to the input so we can also edit this excel sheet okay so now it's look good we can also edit this make it box border or something like that or bold and all so you can use this as a excel sheet for the design table so we can manipulate this one fine okay bold okay this also select this make it bold as a headline this also you can make it bold so this is completely as a excel sheet okay so now we can see go to drawing of this flange now we can update this so now you can see whatever we have edited in the design table it will appear like this here so now it look good all the dimensions for each and every configuration of the part is given here 
Save this. Okay. Fine. Go to file. Again new. Go to drawing. Okay. A3 size. Fine. Now we can go for assembly. Select the assembly XYZ. Put it here. Okay. So scale this view. Use custom scale. One is to two. Now it's look good. According to the size of seat. Okay. Now go to insert table. Select design table. Okay, fine. Select this base view. Okay, it will appear like the a design table will appear. Okay. So as you can see here, this is a design table for assembly. Save this. Okay, in a particular folder. Okay, now go to assembly. Go to table design table edit this so table will appear so we can use this table just like an excel sheet whatever you wanted to edit we can hide this whatever we want we can appear it we can write it we can edit it or we can make some bold and all so we can use this table as a excel sheet okay fine Okay. Fine. Drag this. It will appear this size only on the drawing. Okay, you can edit this. Whatever you wanted to edit or name it. Fine. Save this. Okay. Go to assembly drawing. Update this drawing. As you can see, it will appear like this. Okay. Fine. So, now we have a design table for assembly. So, friend. So this is very good video for industrial design engineer because it is uh, we encountered this type of problem in a design field. So please like, subscribe and share this video to your friend and family because this is very good video for industrial point of view. Thank you very much. Thank you.